Hey everybody, uh, my name's Matt from Matt, sorry, old habits, old habits, old habits, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm a good friend of Holden's, I've known him for about four years now. Um, he and I had a very unique getting to know one another, and I'm going to stop talking about myself here in a minute, it's fine, I'm going to be talking about you here in a second. But um, most of you probably aren't aware, like, he, uh, he makes YouTube videos for a living, probably didn't know that. Yeah, you, want, yeah, you, you didn't know? Got it. Um, it's Holden's editor. Um, Four years ago, I saw him in one of his videos on YouTube, and I promised myself, no, I did not promise myself, I'm probably going to cry, so. <sighs> Four years ago, I saw him on YouTube, and I saw the passion he had in his videos, and I knew I had to find this guy, so I stalked him, it was probably a, to an unhealthy level. I, I found your license plate, it, was, it, was, it probably wasn't good, but. <laughs> But I did, I stalked him, and lo and behold, he worked in the same place I worked. And uh, we had a classic, awkward, getting to know each other. Oh, hey, you're on YouTube. Yeah, so are you. Okay, well, let's get together and do that. Like, I have this Danny Phantom short film idea. <laughs> exactly, yes. Actually, the, video, the first video that I saw you do was your, your opposition to Pensacola banning skateboarding. Oh. So, you know, that's, that's a classic video that you see. Um, regardless, I just wanted to be involved with whatever he was doing whether I was holding the camera or being the shirtless screaming douchebag that I was in his first video, How to Drive in Pensacola Part 2. Um, <laughs> since, since then, uh, we've done quite a few videos together and it's been a lot of fun. Um, but since the first video and all the way till now, he's shown me a level of warmth and friendship that I've never quite had. <sighs> Which brings me to this. <clears throat> This is what I feel is the embodiment of our relationship. If you see here. And if, you, if you're not quite sure what you're looking at, that is me with a wet body, wet pants around my ankles, and uh, him hugging me in the woods. <laughs> now, why? Why? We were, uh, I had just jumped out, I had just gotten out of a lake, I just gotten out of a frozen lake for a video of his. Um, but there he was, that is the embodiment of our relationship. He was keeping me warm after I just got out of there. <laughs> and it really is the embodiment of our relationship. Um, it honestly was also just a normal Thursday. Um, I've, always wanted to, I've always wanted to be able to return that warmth to you. And that's where all three of you come in. You, can, you do that for him. You give him a family. You. <sighs> I've seen the way he looks at all three of you, and it's for real. And I'm extremely, extremely happy for you. I know, I know, I know. To the both of you, please hold on to your individuality in marriage. It can be lost. You must remain two holes to be a great couple. All right, so this next part's a little vulgar, but it's, uh, it's important. Savvy, earmuffs. <laughs> Communication, sex, and money. It is important in a relationship, it is. If you have communication, you can fix anything in your relationship. Hold on to that. From what you've told me, your communication's incredible. Hold on to that. Jen, I hope you know that, and I've told you this before, at, at 2 a.m., if you need me, I'll come running. If the pipe bursts, I don't know how to fix it, but I will stand there cussing and kicking at it until a real man shows up to fix it. <laughs> I will come running. I want to be that uncle for you. I want to be there if you'll have me. <sighs> but that's it. I'm happy for the both of you. If you ever need me, I'm always here. You have family all around you, and I love you. I'm happy for you.